evening, my name is Das. Tonight, Third Rail Media is in Palm Springs, California for the Mr. Palm Springs Leather Contest 2011, brought to you by Palm Springs Leather Order of the Desert. We're at the beautiful downtown convention center. We're gonna check the meet. We're gonna check some jock straps. So stay with us. Good evening, how are y'all doing tonight? Uh, I don't know, I think we can do a little better Springs Leather. One of those men is going to be your bottom for the next year for the whole community. How's that sound? First up, please welcome to the stage contestant number one, Drew Kramer. Now, Drew is an associate member of the Chicago Hellfire Club. He's a former member of a gay male SM activist out of New York. When we asked him, what does leather mean to you? Leather is battle gear for warriors of love. Wow, there's a Hallmark card for you. <laughs> Let's hear it for contestant number one, Drew Kramer. Our second contestant, please welcome to the stage, Henry Jordan. like you're busting your family from the desk though. All right, Henry is a member of the Palm Springs Boys of Leather, Palm Springs Desert Division of the Boots and Breach Corps. He was adopted as a member by Maximus, and he enjoys spending time at home with his husband Don, cooking, playing with his dog barracks, producing fundraising events, trying to better himself as a person, and supporting my community and seeing friends. And when we asked him, what does leather mean to you? To me, it is not what we wear, but it is the pride, love, and respect you show for your brothers and sisters. Through good and bad times, you are there for each other. Contestant number two, Henry Jordan. And our third and final contestant tonight, please welcome to the stage, Chris Krell. Chris's club affiliation includes the Sisters for Perpetual Indulgence. His hobbies include computers, import car tuning, and travel. And then when we ask him, what does leather mean to you? For me, leather represents my personal freedom to express my sexuality, to enjoy without inhibition whatever sexual activities I feel inclined to explore. Contestant number three, Chris Krell. We're with contestant number one, and I understand, sir, your name is Drew, is that correct? That's it, Drew Kramer. Drew, tell us your title and your sponsor. Uh, I am Mr. Toolshed 2011, and my sponsor is the Toolshed, the premier Levi Leather Bar here in Palm Springs. Very, very good. I live a half a block away from the Toolshed, and since I've been here, I've sort of used the place as my living room. And when uh, Charlie, the bartender, uh, told me that hey, you know, we're having this contest and you'd be a great contestant. I thought, I think I owe it to them. Do you bring any special talent, ability, uh, or skill to the leather slash kink community? Uh, you know, I, uh, yeah. I would say I am much more comfortable listening than I am talking. Uh, I'm better off in the background than in the, the vanguard, and I can get a lot of shit done in a day. So is uh, flogging or whip uh, skills a specialty of yours? Single tail whips is, is, is one of my great loves. <laughs> So any of you guys out there that need some single tail action, check out Drew. Absolutely. Contestant number two, Henry, Mr. Barracks Leather, 2011. And 2011. Turn around, let's get a look at your vest right here. Here we have it, Henry, Mr. Barracks Leather, 2011, Palm Springs, California. Turn around, sir. Tell us, Henry, how did you uh, come to be competing in tonight's contest? Well, it was, you know, you had to run for the title. I uh, read for Mr. Barracks 
back in August, excuse me, October, and actually ran against myself. I had some um, judges that really make sure I earned this title to be able to make this next step. How do you feel? Are you excited tonight? I'm very excited about tonight. Um, I, the other two contestants are very great guys. The judges and everyone's been very supportive and very, you know, it's been a really fun ride so far. Well, do you have any special skill or play or sport in uh, the leather scene that you are, how shall we say, expert at? No, I'm still trying to perfect myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, against the other contestants, uh, what do you think your chances are? I think it's pretty good. Uh, like I said, I got to meet both the gentlemen over the weekend, and uh, I feel really good that the three of us would do very well tonight. Now, Drew, Drew is six foot one, 188 pounds. He's got gray eyes and brown hair everywhere. He, and he's also got tattoos everywhere. I hope they don't like tattoos. How many of you like to lick tattoos? <laughs> How many of you just want to see his hairy ass again? I thought so. All right. Now, when we ask, what would your plan? What would be your plan to promote the promote, promote the leather image in our community? He goes. Typically, I have been a joiner. I first met most of the men and women who became my friends through my involvement with various groups from ACT UP to GMSMA to the Chicago Hellfire Club to my softball team back in New York City, the Ball Breakers. I like that, the Ball Breakers. Which sex toy best describes your personality? <laughs> and why? I am going to go with uh, the often overlooked, taken for granted, but vital in many ways, cock ring. Before, before there was Viagra, we had the cock ring. <laughs> Please welcome Henry Jordan. Now, when we ask Henry, what would be your plans to promote the leather image in your community? He goes, I plan to continue to be visible in this community to show that we as a whole care about all sides of the LBGT community. We, we keep a barrier around us because someone is different. There are always potential new title holders out there and new bottoms. <laughs> Henry, if you died, and you were to be reincarnated as a famous actress. <laughs> oh, you can do whatever. I, I, fictional, real, I don't care, all right? But I'm thinking it had to be a famous actress. So if you were to be reincarnated as a famous actress, who would you be and why? The famous actress I would be Arthur Kidd. Because like me, <laughs> because like me, the bitch like Tiffany's. <laughs> Let's hear for contestant number two, Henry Jordan. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Chris Krull. Krull. There we go, Chris. And now when we ask Chris, what would be your plan? to promote the leather community. He pretty much wrote a book. So we really don't have time for that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the Reader Digest condensed version. Before anyone can promote the leather image, they must first have knowledge as to the things that created it. Tonight's MC... That would be me. Says to you... Let's go for a ride. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which would you choose? Goliath, Splash Mountain, or the Mad Hatter Tea Party? I would have to say it would be Splash Mountain. I love blowing a load. <laughs> It's all right. 
it's all right, because you know what? In order to get on this ride, you have to be this tall. <laughs> Let's hear it for contestant number three, Chris Crow. One more time, contestant number one, let's hear it for Drew Kramer, Mr. Toolshed Leather. <laughs> contestant number two, Henry Jordan, Mr. Barracks Leather. <laughs> and contestant number three, Chris Krell, Mr. Twisted Sister Leather. reason the winner wakes up and he's having a bad hair day, then the first runner-up will fill in for you. Our first runner-up will be contestant number three, Chris Krell. We'll be receiving the first runner-up, Medina, from Bill Spinney, president of PSLOD. And they do. Mr. Palm Springs Leather, 2011, goes to contestant number one, Drew Kramer. There you go, everybody. Mr. Palm Springs Leather, 2011, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Mr. Drew, you're a winner. How does it feel? Uh, I, I am humbled. I am truly humbled. Now, you know, Palm Springs has produced a winner before, 2008, Gary Ariza. Yes. So do you think you're ready for Chicago? Do you think you can go back to Chicago and bring it back to Palm Springs? I, as with every task before me, uh, I will absolutely do my best, but... You know, I have to say that, like on reality shows where there's always a contestant that says, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to win. I, I have to confess that I'm here to make friends.